welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, and today with me, my guest is Ashley Pearson, partner with Community Marketing Concepts Incorporated. And you can find them on the web at communitymarketingconcepts.com. Welcome, Ashley. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Fran. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Very excited to have you on the show. Um, We have been working together for a little bit, and it's kind of cool to move from work to just casual conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, so thank you again. Now, you know that I'm all about significant business and results, so I thought today that we'd explore those concepts. Okay. And when I talk with people, I'm always fascinated by the stories that they have to tell. So the question, my first question for you is, what significant moment in your life really influenced you as an entrepreneur? You can go back as far or as near as you want. Well, that's an easy one. For Mm -hmm. me, it's always, my family's always been a a really heavy influence on me, on Mm -hmm. both my mom's side and my dad's side of the family. And my dad's side of the family, um, we have a history of folks that that went to school, had college education, Mm -hmm. our grandparents, both my grandparents graduated from college, Mm -hmm. um, and yet after they graduated, being the the way it it was at the time, they had these great degrees and weren't getting offered positions Mm -hmm. that that they should have been afforded um, for the degrees that they had worked so hard for. Mm -hmm. And it was a sign of the times. Mm -hmm. And my father always made a point of saying, you know, you're gonna be at a little bit of a disadvantage. And so you had to work that much harder to make sure that you're able to compete. Mm. And he always said it would always be better to be able to work for yourself than to to go and have to punch a clock. Now my dad was, uh, he worked at the uh, gas company in Roanoke, Virginia for 40 years from the time he was 19 years old um, until the time that he retired. Mm -hmm. And as a a young man, he, he would get up very, very early in the morning to go to work and come home late in the evening. And he would always say, it's really important that you focus on getting your education Mm -hmm. and focusing on, you know, what you want to do with your life so you're not punching the clock like I'm doing for the Mm, next 40 years. 40 years. And for me, that was really significant and kind of getting my wheels turning from an early age into trying to figure out what was going to be my path and what was going to be my my direction. So that was significant for me. In terms of entrepreneurship, um, I had the other side of my family to look to look towards because my aunt on my mom's side of the family mm-hmm. had started a business mm-hmm. um, around the time that I was in high school, mm-hmm. and uh, it was uh, she had worked in in healthcare as a VP, VP of marketing for an HMO local HMO for 15 years or so, and decided she also wanted to branch out and 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 stop working necessarily for corporate and and do some things out on her own, and um, so I came to visit as I always do um, uh, when I was living in Virginia and I came to visit Philadelphia mm-hmm. and spent you know, uh, a week or so over the summer and kind of saw her in action and what mm-hmm. she was doing and was really, was really motivated um, by that. And it, was, it wasn't until years later that I myself had kind of gotten into corporate and started working in banking mm-hmm. um, and was a little unsatisfied mm-hmm. before it all connected. And what she was trying to do with her life and legacy for our family was a perfect fit for what I was trying to do. And my cousin was also involved, her daughter as well. And so it just, the timing was just right. Wow. And so it was significant because I could hear um, the, the things that my grandparents and my father and my mother had told me over the years and how everything was going to connect. And I thought, this is the opportunity. Yeah. Seize this opportunity to, to be in business for yourself. Wow. And so I, I went to work for the family business. That is so cool. And that was 13 years ago. 13 years, mm-hmm. wow. So tell me what now is the family business? Sort of a one minute introduction and then really tell me what, what is the business and, and right. what does it do? So Community Marketing Concepts is a marketing agency um, and we started out uh, as being a traditional communications agency, marketing agency, public relations, advertising and that sort of thing um, because that's where the money was, okay. <laughs> to be honest with okay. you. Okay. But what we found over time is that, that a lot of that work was a little unfulfilling because we were pushing products corporate uh, for, for corporations that weren't necessarily 
beneficial for the community. Mm -hmm. And being the community marketing concepts, community is in our name, right. we really started to shift our focus about 10 years ago to make sure that the projects that we were working on were really going to be impactful in the communities and bringing resources to the communities that they don't have. And that could be anything from education mm -hmm. about the necessity of recycling in our neighborhoods and how that money, how money generated from recycling can, can help with schools and roads and that sort of thing in the community. Or it could be things like preventative health care. Right. Preventive health care, right. making sure that you understand that you need to have your numbers checked and you need to be on top of your, of your health care, not mm -hmm. only for you, but for your family. And so there's such a wide variety of things that you can do um, with uh, engagement marketing, which is what our specialty is. Okay. And so as we transitioned into being engagement marketing, uh, we started bringing on clients that really we could see a, they were making an impact in the community on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a wide variety of things from education to mm -hmm. um, to energy to uh, environmental issues to healthcare as I said and so um, in the last few years we've, um, we've spent a lot of time mining the types mm -hmm. of contracts that will of course be fruitful for our company but also really position our company as a resource for the community to be able to go out and educate people about things that can, that can impact their lives positively. It could be something as simple as saving money on your electric bill. Great. Or something as, major. Uh, as, <laughs> as, 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 as more, or something, you know, uh, more detailed as really getting a, a plan together for how you're going to improve, improve your health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you share that, and I, I love how you came back to community is in your name, mm -hmm. community marketing concepts. What results are you proud of individually mm -hmm. and also as a company? Well, for sure individually, you know, kind of making this dream of being an entrepreneur that I've had from a very young age. And even though I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I always knew it was in the back of my mind that it was, was something that we wanted to make happen for mm -hmm. our family. So that I'm very proud of. And I'm also proud of um, the longevity of our company. We've been mm. in business 18 years in Philadelphia, um, a minority-owned firm. It's it's a tough road, mm -hmm. and the type of work that we do um, is is very creative, mm -hmm. and we create a lot of platforms for engagement. But we we have always found we've been a little bit ahead of our time in terms of engagement because mm -hmm. what we find is a lot of clients want to spend money, millions of dollars sometimes millions. on advertising campaigns, right, right. which is great. Mm -hmm. Advertising campaigns are are critical. You need that for uh, awareness, but what we found is that um, awareness is great, but that doesn't always drive participation numbers. And so the clients that bring us on board, which are typically municipal services, um, larger corporations, um, mm -hmm. local and state government agencies, they have a message or service that they need to impart to the public. Mm -hmm. And they may be hearing it on a radio right. or seeing it on the side of a bus or, right. or right. seeing it on a billboard or right. as a septic bus goes by and that sort of thing, but it's not resonating with them. Mm -hmm. They don't understand how it's beneficial to them and to their lives and why, it should, why they should pay attention to it and not just look at it as, as chatter. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think for, for us, we, when we realized that we needed to make that connection, there was this gap between awareness and actually participation. Mm -hmm. We figured out ways that we were going to be able to involve the community. And we brought on, uh, we started expanding our network of what we call influencers and advocates mm -hmm. that are, whether it's community-based organizations, oh, affinity groups, faith-based institutions, right. that can help push that messaging out. Because sure. it's one thing to hear the messaging, but there's a difference in hearing it from the television or hearing it from someone that's saying this is what you should be doing right. versus someone in your community that you mm -hmm. trust, whether it be a mm -hmm. friend, a family member, whether it be a member of your church, a member mm -hmm. of your, one of the organizations that you belong to, to really say this is something that you, that you need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And it helps us to go and meet people kind of where they are right. rather and right. bringing the message directly to them. Um, and so um, I think for us, um, that's a result that we're really proud of because mm -hmm. we've been able to carve out a niche um, mm -hmm. that's unique, we think, to this, to this market and, and, and to this right. region right. Um, and being able to drive numbers. And a perfect example of that is the work we've done on behalf of the Philadelphia Streets Department Office of Recycling mm -hmm. for the last 10 years or so. There's always been an overarching mass media campaign since we started. Right, um, uh, I can program. remember. Yeah, absolutely. And through various process changes and through various things mm -hmm. that have happened um, um, with the Streets Department, um, we have been able to kind of work in the communities to make sure, okay, 
Do people know what recycling is? Do people mm -hmm. know how to recycle? Do people know when to recycle? The basics. Great. And now, 10 years in, we're into, okay, we've done a great job overall <laughs> as a city, not right. as a CMC individually, right. but as a city right. of increasing our recycling numbers, saving the city, you know, um, generating $19 million in revenue for recycling. Wow, that's saving a Saving the city $60 okay. million dollars in disposal fees over mm. the last 10 years is, is a result we're very proud of. And that, of course, is a combination of all of our work together right. with right. the Streets Department right. and the agency that provides the, the mass media as well. But getting that information into communities and making people, making sure they understood what they needed to do or how they could be part of the process. Mm -hmm. And people mm -hmm. just want to be invited. Right. And once they were invited to the table, then now we're into the part where we're shifting, where everyone's doing a, a much better job and we're making sure now that people have a better understanding of what they should be recycling and what they should not be recycling oh, and that everything this? doesn't just necessarily what's go this? into the bin. <laughs> and so this is a, this is just a piece um, that we that we're using currently mm -hmm. to promote the, the the knowing the ins and outs of recycling. Mm -hmm. And that that's important to know now that we're all recycling mm -hmm. um, what goes in the bin and what stays mm -hmm. out. Right. You know. And I noticed just in terms of when you talk about the community, you know, I see an African American woman. Mm -hmm. I see a smile. I see bright eyes. Mm -hmm. um, I see images that make it easy. The layout is easy. And I, I definitely understand that the whole, I mean, social media is about helping people hear things and be influenced by the people that they know, like, and trust. Right. And so it really sounds like you are doing that not necessarily through social media, but you're taking that knowledge of psychology and that knowledge of the community right. and you're crafting ways of helping a company get their message across. Exactly. And we're That's and we're powerful. and we're ta targeting, you know, the decision makers in the household and trying to figure out what are those barriers that are preventing the message from being heard. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just as simple as I don't know, and you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And bringing mm -hmm. the information to them in a format that's easily digestible, right, and in right. in a in a manner that makes a lot of sense, sure. um, and also and bring it to places where people feel comfortable. They let mm -hmm. their guard down. They're right, more willing to right. bring you in, and, and their right. shoulders relax a little bit, and they're they're, they're open and and willing to listen to what you have to say, which is why it's really important for us to focus on, you know, mm -hmm. bringing folks in with the, the affinity groups and faith-based right. organizations and community-based right. organizations, uh, police districts, where they're already going to get mm -hmm. information mm -hmm. and are already feel safe. Mm -hmm. For sure, um, the results that we're the most proud of and also the results, the results we've been able to accomplish on behalf of our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, I think, you know, being able to generate $19 million in revenue on behalf of, uh, with and part of what, what the work we're doing, I think, is very impressive. And we're very proud to uh, have been able to make that a uh, reality. Great. And, and that, that, I mean, that's a wonderful way of wrapping up significant business and results. And it's an example of where, when your company, Community Marketing Concepts, focuses their energy for action, it makes a difference in the community. Absolutely. And makes a difference for your customers. Yes. Well, you know, Ashley, I'm really glad that you had a chance to be on the show. I appreciate you being here. Um, as we close, what is one message that you'd like to share with folks about your organization and the community? Well, I think the message that we'd like to share most is we really want to make sure that uh, people understand that it's really important to position resources for the community. Mm -hmm. And, and that it's important for people to understand that there's all kinds of things available to you. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to seek it out and you right. need to ask. And, and, you, and, and we want people to be invited to the table to understand that there's all kinds of benefits and things that can help them in their everyday life mm -hmm. um, uh, that, that they can be taking advantage of. And we're here to help bring those resources to you. And again, it could be anything from as high-minded as you know, preventative health care to s something as simple as um, you know, tax refund information mm -hmm. during tax season. Right. Uh, and so we, we have a wide variety of, of um, resources and opportunities with the clients that we have to, to bring messaging to the community. And we really hope that people will take advantage of that. Great. Well, I am sure they will. So thank you very much. I'm just going to remind our listeners and watchers of our program that my guest today is Ashley Pearson partner with Community Marketing Concepts Incorporated. You can find them on the web at communitymarketingconcepts.com. Ashley, thank you again. Thank you, Fran. And um, thank you, listening audience and viewing audience. You've been watching Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host and producer. Thank you. <laughs>